how I make mayo with fermented lemons. Let me show you. First, I cut the fermented lemons in uh, little pieces. <coughs> if, if there are some white ends, I take them off, but I'm not very specific about that. And at first I make puree with it. save it and I can use for different other recipes uh, for salad dressing, fish, for all sorts of stuff. And for the mayo, for those who are using Thermomix, I use um, this attachment for the mayo making. For those who, who don't have Thermomix, don't worry about it. You can make it any blender or hand blender or even with fork. It's not about the tools, it's about what you can make with it. So I take about, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon or two of this uh, fermented lemon puree. And uh, I use a little bit of mustard. I use Dijon mustard and uh, I use eggs. I'll use two eggs for this smaller amount. It doesn't matter if there is a little bit of whites in the yolks, it doesn't really matter. So, um, the fermented lemon puree and uh, mustard are in there and I'll mix it a little bit, those first. And then I add egg yolks. And uh, mix that. just a little bit. Of, I usually make a blend. A little bit of olive oil, about whatever strikes my mood, about a quarter ah, or less, and uh, make with avocado oil. Why I add olive oil, I don't know, just how I make it. Just a little bit of flavor of olive oil. I don't like to make just with olive oil because it's too strong. So I mix, mix it up a little bit and uh, then I start pouring, I, at first very slowly and I don't add any more salt or anything else because uh, fermented lemon is I'm using it like from the classic um, recipe of mayo. You need uh, lemon juice and salt, for example. This is what it is instead of uh, lemon juice and uh, salt because uh, fermented lemon is already salted. So I'm just using this puree instead. And start adding oil. And I usually 
check in between makings. If you have your own recipe and uh, you have the amounts all the time the same, just use it. And if you want to use um, fermented lemons instead, just omit the salt. And that's about it. But for me, I always make different amounts, so I don't have a recipe. I usually taste my food when I make it, so I taste it. Needs more oil. So, and it's not um, thick enough, so I'm adding more oil. Looks like it has a good amount of lemon. It's zesty and uh, uh, sour enough and salty enough. So, at this point, just needs more oil. how it tastes now. Hmm? That's pretty good. Maybe a tiny bit more. That looks good. Yeah, it tastes good. And that's the mayo with uh, fermented lemons. It's delicious. It has a different flavor than just a classic mayo with fresh lemons and salt. It has this fermented taste, I guess. And it's good for you. It has probiotics. And I usually keep mayo in the fridge up to 10 days. It depends. Like this fermented actually stays a little bit longer than uh, with the fresh lemons. I guess it keeps fermented or something. So I use it within days or so and uh, that's it.